Now here's something you don't see every day. This is the electronic ignition pack on Lycoming's new IE2 engine. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from Lycoming's test hangar at Williamsport Airport in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. We're here at Lycoming to take a look at the new IE2 engine from Lycoming. This is a new innovation from Lycoming that's meant to be a totally integrated electronic engine and it promises to provide some real performance increases for large horsepower engines. Here's Lycoming's Jim Morris to give us the details on this engine. The overall design philosophy was to create an engine that was, a, that was simpler to operate with only a, a single lever power input for the pilot so the pilot doesn't have to manage his engine. He can fly his airplane with all the modern new glass panel displays and the, the newer complex airplanes. We wanted to create a system that was as simple to fly as it is to drive your car where you start the engine and you don't have to worry about a thing, you can fly your airplane. This is a uh, completely uh, electronically controlled fuel injected engine that's similar to what's used in a modern automobile. Um, for the uh, aircraft, we have four main actuation systems. The injection of fuel, the ignition, the, an actuator that controls the manifold pressure via the wastegate or boost, and an actuator that controls the prop pitch or engine RPM, so an electronic governor. So those are the four main actuation systems in the IE2 engine. Each individual cylinder has its own fuel injector and the fuel for that cylinder is scheduled on an individual basis. We measure the air flowing into the engine, calculate for that cylinder the correct amount of fuel for that airflow and engine RPM, and control the fuel injector directly to put the correct fuel mixture into that cylinder. The ignition system is, is built into the engine. We have an individual coil for each spark plug so that uh, they're completely independent, one for each spark plug. There's a total of 12 on, the, on this engine, being a six-cylinder engine. The ignition is controlled by the two-channel ECU, and uh, the two are independent, so you know, if you lose an individual spark plug, the other spark plug on that cylinder continues to function. Well, our electronic system uh, consists of two boxes. One box is a, what we call the power box, and that takes the power from our uh, on-engine power generation device called a PMA, and also the airframe power, looks at those two powers, rectifies, regulates, smooths that, and supplies that to the system. There's a, a second box that's the engine control computer. That's a single box with two complete control computers inside it, or a dual channel system. And each channel is capable of running the entire engine and providing full power. The, the basic thinking is that like homing has very diligently mapped all the potential operating conditions for the engine, different speeds, different uh, engine power settings, and we have uh, selected the optimal fuel flow for those individual settings. So now on the aircraft, we measure the uh, amount of air going into the engine and using a uh, map that's built into the engine provide exactly the right amount of fuel for that power setting. This system has the ability to do uh, is if a new particular certified fuel is, is produced for the industry, we can uh, reprogram a different fuel map with the correct operating fuel flows for that new fuel. And with the knock detection that's built into the system, it will be able to accommodate, you know, fuels that have a little bit lower uh, octane rating, will be able to still protect the engine from damaging detonation. What we do is working with the uh, air, an airframe manufacturer, is we'll work out a strategy where depending on the power requested by the, the pilot, what is the uh, correct fuel setting. So if you're pulling back on the throttle, we'll recognize that, oh, you probably want to go a little bit leaner, so we, we set the fuel flows on the lean side of the spectrum. If you're running higher powers, we're going to use a little bit richer fuel mixture because we're trying, we know that you want power and we want to protect the engine and give you that uh, 2,000 hour TBO. It is like Homing's uh, position right now. We are 
working with the FAA to get full certification for this engine. It will be identical to the one that's being used in Lancer. So we will receive full FAA Part 33 certification for the engine with the control system. And it will be available for use in any uh, certified or non-certified application. We're working to achieve that certification by the end of this calendar year. You can see the IE2 in the flesh at EAA Air Venture 2010 in Lycoming's Big Red Tent in the main display area. You can also find a full report on the IE2 in the August 2010 issue of Aviation Consumer. Thanks for watching.